Hi, I'm Professor Bei Dong from USF School of Accountancy. Today we're going to cover some topics related with current liabilities and contingencies. In this audio, we're going to talk about gain and loss contingencies. So, what is contingencies? FASB defines contingencies as an existing condition, situation, or set of circumstances involving uncertainty as to possible gain or loss to an enterprise that will ultimately be resolved when one or more future events occur or fail to occur. So we see that a major characteristic of contingencies is that it depends on future events. It could be gain, it could be loss. So there are two types of contingencies. One is gain, one is loss. For the gain contingencies, there are possible gains from donations, asset sales, legal cases, tax disputes, etc. Okay. Loss contingencies are those possible losses could be due to legal cases, for example. In terms of financial reporting requirement for contingencies, there is a huge difference between gain contingencies and loss contingencies. For the gain contingencies, we never accrue, which means that regardless how probable it is, we never book on our accounting book, we never show it on the financial statements. At most, we're just going to disclose them in a footnote only if probability is high. While if you look at loss contingencies, if it is probable and the amount is estimable, we're going to accrue it. If it is probable or reasonably possible, we're going to disclose them in a footnote. If it is remotely possible, we're going to ignore them. So we can see that there is an asymmetric recognition between gain contingencies and loss contingencies, and we put a lot of focus on the loss contingencies. This is a typical reflection of accounting conservatism. Now, let's talk about some contingent liabilities. The first one we're going to talk about is warranty. Warranties are promised from seller to the buyer for the possible future deficiencies in the products, and it generates some uncertainty in terms of the future cost to the seller. So, GAAP requires all the firms who offer the warranties record estimated expenses, warranty expenses, in the same period when products are sold. We debit warranty expenses, we credit estimated warranty liability. So this journal entry is the estimation of the possible future warranty expenses. And it has to be recorded in the same period of the sales revenue is booked. It is consistent with the matching principle. And when costs really occur usually in the subsequent period, then we're going to debit estimated warranty liability, credit cash, inventory, or other asset. You know, it depends on the scenario. The second type of contingent liability we're going to talk about is coupon. Coupons nowadays are widely used. It is a very important tool for the companies to incentivize the future customer to buy. So GAP asks all the companies which actually offer coupons to estimate the possibility of the customers to redeem these coupons in the future and record it as a promotion expenses here. And then we're going to credit estimated coupon liability in the same period when coupons are offered. And then when coupons are used by the customers in the subsequent periods, we debit these coupon liabilities and we credit cash inventories, etc. Depends on the situation. The third type of contingent liabilities we're going to talk about is lawsuit. When lawsuit evolves with the loss, and this loss is probable, and the amount is estimable, we are going to record this journal entry okay, in the period when the estimation is made. We debit the estimate the loss, which is going to affect the income statement. We credit the estimate the liability, which is going to affect our balance sheet. And of course, we're going to disclose additional information in the footnote regarding this legal case. And when settlement is decided, we debit estimated liability or credit cash or other assets. This is an example of lawsuit disclosure, footnote disclosure from a tail corporation, you know, quoted from 2007 annual report. So in that year, there were 22 lawsuits across the whole nation for their products. And since they cannot reasonably determine the scope or amount of possible liabilities that could result from an unfavorable settlement or resolution of these claims, which means that the loss contingencies is not estimable, okay, the amount is not as estimable, they still disclose this in a footnote, you know, thinking that it could be useful to, for the readers of their financial report.